Hello everyone. So this is my first artifact uh, video and I will be talking about uh, trading in artifact. Now as you guys have probably know like artifact is going to be a TCG which is a trading card game. Um, for those of you that are not that familiar with TCG it's um, it's something like Magic the, Ga the Gathering or Yu-Gi-Oh or Pokemon. So you are able to trade cards, etc, etc. Now, uh, from those of you who have been playing Hearthstone, uh, Hearthstone is considered CCG, which means that uh, the cards that you own, you can't really like sell it, uh, sell it to another player. So, and the good thing about a TCG is, if one day you decide to quit the game, you are able to sell it, um, sell, uh, sell, sell it at the marketplace. So. Um, this will be a this will be a, a TCG game. From what we know, artifact is going to be a TCG. Now, um, let me explain to you the um, the currency that uh, Steam uses or artifact uses. And for those of you that are not that familiar, just like me, it is it is my first uh, Steam game to be, to be to to be honest. And I and I found like. There are some confusion, which is why I did this video to help you guys that they are from the Hearthstone background or other CCG background. Now, as you can see, like the window that we are having here is, is a Steam window, and you can see like there's a there's something here. So my current wallet is I have like fifteen ringgit, and this will be the um, the what do you call uh, the currency. The steam currency that you will be using throughout the through, throughout the game so one thing about this steam uh, currency is that you are able to use it for in-game purchases you are able to use it to buy the game but you are unable to uh, cash out so so even like if you have like uh, tens of thousands of steam uh, steam credit you can't really like withdraw it like a paypal account now what what you are able to do will be like you are able the only way for you to cash out from from how i see it is either one you sell your entire account or what you can do is you can just uh buy games uh for your friends so let me let me uh, let me show you let's yeah this is uh, this is what i found find is quite fascinating for those that have never uh, used steam before so hold on uh okay let's just simply click a random game search games uh, oh sorry mm. i'm lost oh, okay all right let's browse the store now let's uh, let's just pick a game all right let's just pick grand theft auto 5 and the only way that you are able to uh oh, man hold on let me let me let me let me sort this out first all right the only way that you are able to 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 like cash out will be like you buy you buy this game for your friend. Um, how do I how do I make the purchase? Hold on, yeah. So I just put add to cart. So you purchase as a gift. So this is the way that you are able to cash out. So you buy the game for your friend. You ask him to pay you instead, and then you deliver the game for for him so this is what you need to know like if you want to cash out your your wallet so once the money is is in the wallet you can't really reverse engineer it. Yeah. so so that uh, that's the first point that i would like to make uh, so uh, be uh be prepared like when when you are dealing uh with marketplace you will be using the steam credit now the the second part that i would like to mention will be the 
uh, the marketplace. Let me try to show you the marketplace. So the marketplace is where you um, basically where you trade everything. Now, um, I think like this is something that is really neat uh, for for Steam. So let's let's click PUBG. All right, let's click PUBG now. So you're able to see like so these are all the items available for PUBG. Okay, so. And let's say if I'm interested in buying this uh, this uh, Raiders crate, so it will cost. So I will be able to see like at two point zero one, there's one quantity two point zero two. So if I would like to sell, this will be the price. The key that you need to understand here is there is a fifteen. Um, there is a f uh, this is a buy and this is a sell. This uh, one thing that you need to know is um, there is a 15% tax on on the for the buyers to buy a pro, to to buy your stuff. So let's say you are selling something for one uh, one dollar, the buyer will need to pay an extra 15. So the effective price that the buyer pays will be 1.15. So Steam, I can't remember like if I'm not mistaken, it's like uh, Steam takes five percent and the game developer takes ten. When it comes to artifact, it's a total fifteen percent. Uh, fifteen percent. At this moment, uh, the game will be launched in three days' time. At this moment, the marketplace is is, is not available. Um, like you will be able to see uh, for some other games. Uh, yeah, for all like there are quite a lot of games that have all, all those all those in-game purchases. Uh, but there's there's none for artifact yet at this moment not too sure like when uh when artifact uh, will be available like the cards will be available in the market the good thing about the marketplace is you for those that for those of you that don't really enjoy opening pack like me you can choose to buy those rare from from the marketplace you can even buy rare and common and Rag, I mean, you can buy common and uncommons from from the marketplace as well, and commons will typically cost like six cents because five cents will be like the minimum for for the I mean the the recycle value. All right, so this is marketplace. Once the marketplace is enabled, you're able to uh, buy and sell your collection. Now this comes to the third point. <laughs> It's quite sad that I only discovered this um, this a, f a couple of hours ago, and 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 I feel a bit sad because uh, let me show you. At this moment, if you s click and uh, when I click at my market, this error happens. So there is a seven days. Uh, there is a seven days locking period once you enable your Steam Guard. All right, you can you can you can see like you make a valid purchase on but so we require a steam uh hold on so this is the faq but let's let's just scroll on here we require a steam purchase that is between seven days so i just made i didn't pre-order like seven days ago so i just pre-ordered recently and this is uh they they have a restriction so I can only use this seven days later, which is a week later, at ten p.m. So I feel I feel a bit sad. Now, there's another uh, there's another thing that you will need to activate as well is which is your Steam Guard. Let me show you. A, a Steam Guard is um, is from your phone, so you are able to connect to your phone. So this is my phone that you are seeing on 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 your screen at this moment. So let's let's just go to the uh, let's just go to the artifact the Steam. Now this is the Steam apps, and this is the Steam guard. All right. So it is something like a authenticator, and you will need you will need to enable this before you are able to use the marketplace. So here, if let's say if I click to the marketplace, so what is going to say? All right, you are locked into the. 
you are logged into the marketplace. Uh, yeah, you are logging into a marketplace that had not been protected by the stinger for seven days. Therefore, I am not sure that if let's say if you didn't enable Steam Guard, would you still be able to use the marketplace or not? I've, I've. I have no idea because if you are if you see here it doesn't like really mention that restriction but when you are using your phone then the error message just comes out well i hope like this uh video helps uh helps a lot of you especially those that have been uh, those that are using steam for the first time because it is always in my impression that uh, marketplace is supposed to be in game in in game thing, but uh, one of one of my close friends, he just tell me about this. So after I did some research, then I found out that wow, like this is really happening. And I was planning to do some a lot of trading, but it seems like I won't be able to do it till uh, next Monday. In in fact, I've prepared like some material for for it. And I think my next video will be dedicated to uh, to how to trade cards and what will be the optimum price of each each rare. So hopefully uh, I'll be able to get the video video uploaded in in two days because it requires some time to gather information. Hope this video helped uh, you guys, especially those that are from the Hearthstone community and and also those that are not familiar with Steam. I mean those that have been playing paper magic that decide to try artifact might not know about this i mean i mean i i virtually know 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 about this only like a couple hours back all right thanks for watching and do uh hope you you like this video peace